It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party. It's the 202. It's the 202. Hello, everyone. Coming up on the 202, you just mentioned hit song titles like Power of Love, Any Love, or Never Too Much. And instantly, you can hear the velvet voice of R&B legend Luther Vandross. Well, there's a phenomenal local performer who channels the sound, body, and soul of Luther so well that his live concerts are called Luther Relives. He's here today on the 202. <laughs> And welcome to the 202. I'm Furman Patterson here with my lovely co-host Michelle Wright. Thank you, Furman. And over on the turntables, the guest DJ on the 202 today, it's DJ Nose. <laughs> now, many of us consider R&B singer Luther Vandross the greatest crooner of his generation. The Grammy Award winner's way with a ballad captivated all of us, including today's guest. And as you know, Michelle and I like to spotlight talent from the DMV who are pursuing their passion for music while working their regular day jobs. Well, William Smooth Wardlaw has a passion for rekindling Luther Vandross. And on stage, he looks, talks, and sings like Luther. Smooth. Man, thank you so much for stopping by. It's great to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Wow. Yes. Look, at this is amazing. Isn't it wonderful? Wow. Yeah. How did you decide to put all this together? But first, tell us how you got the name Smooth. Well, <laughs> it's easy when I, you know, when I sing. And a lot of people just came up to me and said, oh, you just sound so smooth. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> use that name. So I, that's how it came. So you took it on. <clears throat> I took it on upon myself to just call wow. it smooth. Yeah. And it stuck to me ever since. Okay. You know, and, and some of that singing, I, I hear that old R&B sound that seems like it came from the church. Did you uh, yeah. have any training in the church? Well, I used to sing in choirs, ah. a lot of choirs. Um, it was like if it was from the men's to the uh, ensembles and uh, to the, I ain't gonna say old people choir, but I was in that too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's where I was from. You know, I grew up in the church and, I, you know, I, my background was gospel at one time. So that's all where the foundation started from. Now, I wanna know <clears throat> what was it about the Luther songs that got you? Wow. Because, you know, we feel so many different things I know. from hearing a Luther song. Well, you know, it started out when I was in high school. Um, I fell in love with Luther's voice. Um, I used to croon in the classrooms and what have you. <laughs> Teachers mm. be telling me to be quiet. Then all of a sudden they just told me, oh, we'll give you about five minutes to sing in the class. <laughs> so, you know, it started as that. Um, but my favorite, what it started off with Michael Jackson at first. I mean, I, I used to have mm. a real high voice. And as soon as my voice matured, mm -hmm. I started singing more Luther songs. And from then on, um, it, just, it just caught on and people just enjoyed me singing Luther, and I, which is one of my idols, so what more could I say? You know, I'm doing my idol, Luther, so and that's how it started off. Now, like yeah. most, of, most of the people with a voice, <clears throat> uh, they start out in a band. Did you have a little band yes, during I high did. school? Yes, I did. Matter of fact, in <laughs> high school, uh, matter of fact, the DJ that right there, he been knowing me for a long time. Oh, and, uh, yeah, we went to school together. DJ and, uh, yes, and uh, I started off with a group called Ovation Band, which is from Alexandria, Virginia. Okay. And I was in, uh, I was in 11th grade when I first started off in the band. And of course, I was very popular then, you know, you know, as an 11th grade, you know, you know, you sing and you got all the girls around and what have you. So I was very popular. Oh, you school. loved that. Oh, I loved it very much. <laughs> what can I say? So, and um, after, you know, I graduated, um, you know, I, I started working, but I was doing various uh, uh, groups that I started with and, you know, and I, it's a story with that later on, I, I'll get with that later, but I've just been singing ever since. But you've also been working. Now, as I said before, a lot of, yeah. a lot of folks that come mm -hmm. on, they, they have day jobs, yeah. and then they perform around the city and around yeah. the world. Yeah, I mean, I work for the city government. Um, I'm an office manager, so, you know, I, that's my day job there. And, uh, but, you know, the people at my job, you know, they support me so much. 
and they want to see me, you know, excel. So. So have they gotten you to do the office party yet? <laughs> uh, number five, yeah. <laughs> yes, we have. Yes, we have. So that's been a plus. They love this. I'm, they came to my shows plenty of times. So I have a lot of support from, from D.C. So Do they shout out their favorite Luther songs oh, when you're singing? Who don't? <laughs> who don't? You know, so, you know, when they do, you know, we try to, you know, respond to their requests. Um, you know, we can't do every Luther song. Right. But, you know, um, any song that they request, we write on it. And, you know, it's just wonderful. It's just been a wonderful journey so far. So does every song in the <clears throat> Luther songbook uh, it's in your head? It's in my head, yeah. Because yeah. I study him like a, like 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 math. Ah. You know, so if you got to do this, you do it right. You know, so don't do it at all. So that's our motto. So it's it's been wonderful. I mean, the response from the people. Huh, I'm living my dream right now. I really am. One thing about Luther that it seems that you've taken on that persona. Luther had such a a, a way of controlling yeah. his presence, right. but still making it just spectacular and, and bigger than life. Well, that's what I do too as well. That's why it's called the Luther Relives. So we try to relive the moments, the, uh, the, uh, the character, the music, you know, for us with the wardrobe, the choreograph, all of it. So we that's why it's called Luther Relives. And, and I course, think we've been good. You hit that. Oh yeah, I can get a little bit. I can do a little bit of that. Yeah, so they love it. Trust me, they love it. Oh yeah, we all it. love it. We get, we're waiting for that. Okay, right. well you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. So. All right. It's been wonderful. That's yeah. what we're waiting for. Okay, great. Well, coming up, the stage is where it all happens when William recaptures the magic of Luther Vandross. And it's also where a tight band and two great backup singers help him do it live for audiences all over the world. So stay right where you are. The 202 will be right back. It's the two o two. 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 Welcome back to the 202 and our special performance with a talented singer from the DMV who is bringing back the magic of Luther Vandross to fans around the world. And of course, we all know that a great front man couldn't do it without a great band behind him. And today you brought your band, That's but also right. you brought your best friend. Yeah. So tell us who this is. Uh, do I have to? No, I'm just um, <laughs> Yes, he is. He's, he's, he is my best friend. Um, he's our MD. Uh, his name is Mr. Deginal Boykins, who also plays the bass. Ah, Deginal. Ah. And you also look spiffy. That's a great jacket you've got. Hot jacket. Oh, it's Hot a jacket. story here, but that's for another show. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh, very well, thank nice. You. Thank you. Tell us what it is like to manage such a team. You know, I know with one person that might be a task in and of itself, but a whole team, what's that like to manage a You, you know, that's an interesting question. I would simply characterize it as the the best and the worst nightmare you have. <laughs> hey, oh. and, and I do mean that in the, uh, the most positive sense because all of us aspire to do more and to be more. And it, it takes an effort to push people out of their box. It takes even more of a miracle effort to push a group out of the box together and therefore the yin yang, the good, bad, if you will. Wow. But all in all, it's a beautiful experience, particularly the journey we've all had together. Yeah. Wow. But the two of you uh, met each other 20 so years ago? Yeah, 20 something years ago uh, right. at, a, at a nightclub uh -huh. called the Classics, if anybody knows where that and is. And I guarantee you, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. DMV knows the Classics. Yes, so yes. Tells you how far yes. we go back. Yes. Wow. And so uh, did you, you, you think uh, you met, you thought, oh, we both were in the music that we could do. We had an idea work. of what we wanted to do, but like I said, it was just a, you know. Oh, wait a minute. Don't thing. lie. Wait, <laughs> don't <laughs> lie. Oh, okay. Don't lie. Let, let me tell you what <laughs> really happened. Tell us, tell us. I Call saw him that. singing with uh, uh, another band or something, and I saw the diamond in the rough, mm. and I approached him, and he says, See my manager. Whoa. Yeah. You know, what? I, I, was oh, yeah. I was young. I was pissed. Oh. And I called this guy and I called this guy and he didn't respond and I finally ran into him. I'm like, what's up? Yeah. You, you know, I, I think we can make music together. Yep. And that was 20 plus years 20 ago. 20 plus years ago and here we are, yes. 
Oh, that is wonderful. And yes. how did you find all these other wonderful people? Handpicked. You, you know what? It, it was handpicked. It. it uh, well, tell us who they are. Yeah, let's, yes. let's, let's start here. On my left, yeah. this is Mr. Jimmy Kearns on saxophone. And, and if I can quickly tell you, yeah. I met him playing in a big band, a Count Basie type band. We played ah. in a Bowie State jazz band. And to hear some of the hypnotic tones, I sought him for three years before he finally said yes. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yes. All right, this gentleman on keyboards, Mr. Glenn Douglas, I always refer to him amongst a, a monstrous keyboard player and a master at that, is the oldest person on earth that I know. Since my, <laughs> no, no, but really, my, my, my parents are deceased now, and he and I went to uh, kindergarten together in Barnard Elementary. Wow. wow. So I, that's, that's a true statement. Wow. We gotta get through. This is my rock back here, Mr. Perry Seldon on drums. He's my yes. conscious, yes. fantastic drummer and producer and musician. Yes. All right. Mr. Mark Dooley. Yes. We go back 20 years playing with some of the classic R&B groups like uh, uh, Temptations, Eddie Holman, Gene Chan. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Alicia yes. Andre. Yes. I accidentally overheard her singing Happy Birthday at a party to a common friend. Wow. And I said, let me find who that is. Yeah. <laughs> and we got together. Oh. And Miss Stephanie James, yes. uh, a New York native, uh, we, we awesome. also kind of got together through a common friend and we talked about music and I go, oh yeah, oh yeah, a couple times and we finally hooked up. But uh, again, the, the chemistry is next to none is, 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 was my guiding light on, on picking these. Well, well we're, we're gonna excited. stop talking about yeah. music and we're gonna let you guys do a little music. Okay. Okay. So let's get out of the way and take it away. The time is right. You hold me tight And love's got me high Please tell me yes And don't say no, honey Not tonight Ooh. You owe it to yourself And I will selfishly Take a little for myself And it's because of you Because of love won't let me win Not another minute, baby Baby I can't wait. 
no way, no way, no way, no way, no no way, no way, no, 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 no. I do. and sings like Luther, but he also has his own original sound. And with a nickname like Smooth, his original music has to be hot. The 202 will be right back after this. It's the 202. Love your baby. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. Nobody. Yeah. Like I do. Nobody. Nobody. We love you like Don't I you know do. That there ain't nothing that I wouldn't do. That I would not do.
<laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. That was Fantastic. Awesome. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, what a great show today. Thanks to William Smooth Wardlaw for his Luther Relay's performance. And of course, my co-host, Miss Michelle Wright. And thank you to DJ Nose over there and to all of you for watching us. Furman and I will see you again next time on the 202. Don't forget, check out episodes of the 202 on DC Radio. That's at 96.3 HD4 and DCRadio.gov. This is how we do when we party uh, in the 202. Yeah. Hey. Home of that good live music. Come on. Live on set, live audience approves it. Uh. The best hopes that don't get no tighter. Yeah. Herman and Michelle can't get, get no wider. Taxation, no representation. No. But the 202 repping for the capital nation. Uh -huh. So from 703 to the 301. Yeah. yeah, we all come to have some fun. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party in the 202. Yeah. It's the 202. Yeah. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. Yeah. It's the 202. This the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party it's in the, the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202.